Welcome to the video tutorial on Perl programming. Perl is a programming language specially designed for text editing. It is now widely used for a variety of purposes including Linux system administration, network programming, web development, etc. Perl is of great importance in a Linux operating system where it can be used to create programs, handle databases and emails, graphical user interface development, and networking and system administration. Even though shell scripting is available to programmers, they prefer Perl because programming on Perl doesn't cause portability issues which is common when using different shells in shell scripting. Error handling is very easy on Perl. You can write long and complex programs on Perl easily due to its vastness. This is in contrast with shell that does not support namespaces, modules, objects, inheritance, etc. Shell has fewer reusable libraries available. Nothing compared to Perl's CPAN. Shell is less secure. It calls external functions, for example commands like MV or CP. On the contrary, Perl does useful work while using internal functions. Let's learn how to create a Perl script. You should always start your script with shebang user bin Perl. It directs the execution to Perl interpreter on your system. Now let's learn how to add a variable and input or output it on Perl. So if you want to define a variable value, you need to use the syntax variable is equal to value. And this way you can store the values to a variable in form of string and number. When it comes to displaying a string or value on the screen, you need to use the print command. It would output the string or value. And if you want to assign input to a variable in Perl, you need to use the stdin operator. So the syntax is variable is equal to stdin. Now let us go through some important points. Add a comment on Perl with the hash symbol. Remember that every statement in Perl ends with a semicolon. Perl is case sensitive. Make sure you use the right case. You can use any text editor to write your Perl scripts. You should then save the script file in .pl extension which will make it recognizable. Make sure you do not use spaces when you are naming the Perl script file. Now let us understand the steps in creating a Perl script. Create a file using VI or any other text editor. Name script file with extension .pl. Start the script with the shebang sign followed by user bin Perl path. Write some code. Save the script file as filename.pl. For executing the script, type bash space filename.pl. Let's write a Perl script which will take input from the user and display it back through the script. So let us go ahead and create a new Perl script file on VI Editor. As discussed earlier, you need to start your script with the shebang sign followed by user bin Perl path. Once done, hit enter and write the script that you want to execute. Now here is the script that we want to run. Now as we are done writing the script, let us go ahead and save it. Now is the time to run the script. For running the script, you need to type in Perl followed by the script name. Once you hit the enter key, the file would ask you for an input. So it says, may I take your name please. Let us write our name Guru99. Once you hit enter, the file returns the input value by displaying our name. So this is how you can create Perl scripts. Let us quickly recap what we learned in this tutorial. Perl is a general purpose programming language originally developed for text manipulation. Now it is used for a wide range of tasks including system administration, web development, network programming, GUI development and more. Perl files have .pl extension. There are three types of variables in Perl scalar, lists and hashes. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I would see you in the next one.